Jacob, as we get started, I wanted to congratulate you. First of all, uh, you got another Critics' Choice nomination this year a few weeks ago. Tell us about getting that news. Well, I was so happy, just like just like last time. I mean, I'm so excited to go to go back, and it just makes me so happy that that I'm nominated again. And I, just, I I really just can't believe it as well. I remember you won two years ago. That trophy was almost as big as you were. Yeah. It was it was really big and, and it was pretty heavy too. I still have it in my room right now, actually, right beside my Millennium Falcon. What uh, what did who did you get to meet on that particular uh, awards journey with Room that that uh, that you had always enjoyed watching in movies and television shows? I met a lot. I I met I met Leonardo Di Leonardo DiCaprio. And I was so excited when, when I met him and I was so happy. So he took a little picture. That was really fun. I also met um I also met Johnny Depp, which is really cool. I I'm, my I remember that part. We were I was walking to the bathroom and then I noticed him right there and I asked if 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 I could get a picture with him and then one time and then all of a sudden I called him buddy and then he was like, "Yeah, we can follow be buddies," which was pretty cool. And you met me outside on the red carpet. I still have that interview. We talked for a minute or so. That's really cool. Well, it's nice to well, see you. Yeah, nice to see you again. Well, tell me on Wonder, uh, so many people have already seen this movie. It's one of the biggest box office hits of the last few months. But if somebody hasn't seen it yet, who who is Augie? Could you describe Augie to the audience? Augie is a boy who is very smart, very kind, and very funny. He has a facial difference. He has Trisha Collins syndrome, which affects the way your face develops. And Augie hasn't been to public school because he's been homeschooled his whole life. And then one, one day his parents decide maybe it's time for public school. So it's about his, well, it's, well Augie has a big adventure in, in middle school, which is, it's, it's a fun movie to watch. And what's he, I mean, we see what he's like on the outside and we talked to your director, Steven, last week and he was talking about how much, you know, you had to be in the makeup room and all of that, but what's he like on the inside? How would you describe what, what he's like as a person? Yeah, he's, he's really kind. Um, I mean, he will, he will make you laugh in the movie. He's really funny and he's just, he's really confident and, and brave uh, too. The other uh, boys and girls you get to work with, that's, that seemed like that was a really good team for you as an actor. Yeah, it, we, uh, the directors and producers called us the Great Eight because there was eight of us, and Great Eight is a pretty cool club name. So that was, that was really cool. And, I mean, I haven't worked with a lot of kids on, on other movies like, like Room, um, but this one was really fun because of it. Are they the kind of, I mean, did you develop really good relationships that you would like to, to be good friends with them for, for many, many years? Yeah, that I, I would like to be friends with them forever. Yeah, they're both, they're all, we all like had really close relationships. We went to football games and we went to, this, we, we go to, we went to like the zoo one time and we would always go to this restaurant in Vancouver called Taco Fina. And we had, there was, the food there was amazing. So it, we just, we became best friends. Well, maybe when that restaurant sees this video, they'll, they'll give you some free uh, coupons for the next trip. That'd be pretty cool. Giving them some publicity. Um, well, tell us about, we talked to Steven last week. He came by our offices. What was he like as a director? He seems like he's a really exciting guy. Yeah, he is. He is really nice and he is really patient. There's a, there was a lot of kids on set, so he is he is a really patient man. But yeah, he's so nice too, and he's really funny, and he's a really good director because he he like visualizes the scene before he films it, cause like he knows what he wants to do and he knows what the what how the scene is gonna be, which which is really good for this is really good, and I just I had so much fun working with him. What's a good example of that where he? really talked you through how to get uh, get a scene together and, and you were really impressed? Well, he would always, uh, would always like, uh, he, he's just like, he's, he's, he was always like, uh, he just made me feel comfortable. Yeah, be, like he made, he, there's no swearing on the set. That was number one rule, no swearing. Um, he was always so calm and it, it, it really did help. 
and Julia Roberts plays your mother in the movie. We've been, I've been watching her. Uh, she and I are roughly the same age, and and just ever since she was not even out of her teens when she started. So she wasn't much older than you are now. What what was she like to work with? She was really nice, and I mean, I learned so much from her just by watching her act. I saw how focused she is and how intact she is with her character. And most importantly, I saw how, how kind she is to everyone on set. And that taught me that no matter how famous you are, you can always choose kind. She's got one of the greatest smiles in the history of movies, don't you think? Yeah. And Owen Wilson, we've been watching him for a long time, too. He's mostly known for comedies, but here he's got a little bit of comedy, but it's a lot of dramatic work. Yeah, he's he's very he's so fun to work with as well, and he's really funny and he's really comforting as well. And I mean, it was I was it was so easy to, to pretend that he was my dad because he would just snap right into character, and it, I just everyone on set had such a blast working with him. You've got a lot of famous people in the movie, some for just a scene or or so. But um, one of my favorites that just won a Tony Award is uh, David Diggs. Uh, and he got to be your teacher in, in some of the scenes. What was he like to work with? He was, he, was, he was also really nice to work with. He was actually a substitute teacher before he started acting. So he was like a natural at this. Um, yeah, he was, he was really nice. And um, to all the kids, he, cause he, was like, he, he told me this, that how he was like, it was his first movie. So like, he didn't know what a honey wagon is. So um, Millie, Millie Davis, had to tell him what uh, what a honey wagon was. It was so funny. <laughs> um, and you you got to work with one of the greatest characters in the history of movies, and that's Chewbacca. Uh, was actually in this movie for a couple of scenes. Uh, and I know you're a big Star Wars fan. What what was that moment like when you're on on set with him? It was awesome. I mean, I gave him a fist bump. Uh, every everyone on set was just starstruck, and they actually had the real guy from Star Wars. Mine oh, the, the main one was there. Yeah. So, I mean, that was probably one of the best parts of filming. Oh, man, you, it was so cool just to have the, the actual Chewbacca in, in the room with, with all, like, his, his suit was on, and he had, like, the strap thing, and it was just awesome. I remember two years ago at the Oscars when, when the Star Wars characters came out on stage, you seemed, uh, that was one of the mo your most exciting moments of that whole night, right? That was awesome because, I mean, I, I just wanted to know how they actually make R2-D2 move. And it's just so cool. And it's like, uh, they were basically like real robots on stage. It was awesome. Are you excited for the new movie? I'm really excited. We're going we're gonna to go, we're going to go see it. And uh, I mean, I don't know what to expect. But I know that it's going to be really good because The Force Awakens was amazing. I saw it yesterday. I saw Last Jedi yesterday. So let me just tell you everything that happens and spoil no, no, the whole no, no, thing for don't, you. Please don't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. But it is excellent. You're going to really enjoy it. I can't wait. What, um, what else have you got going on? We're, we're watching, uh, everybody's watching Wonder right now. But what's coming up next? I actually have a, I have two movies coming out. I have Predator, which is a cool action movie, and I have The Death and Life of John F. Donovan with Natalie Portman, and I'm also really excited for that one to come out. The director of it is Xavier Dolan, and we're just like best friends. Oh, okay. I, I have heard about that one, but I don't know much about it. Yeah, well, I think that maybe I should, maybe, wait, maybe we can do another interview for John F. Donovan. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, sure, sure. Well, listen, I hope uh, you're going you are you're going to be down here for the Critics Choice Awards uh, when your nomination comes up? Yes, definitely. I'm so excited. Well, I hope to talk to you again on the red carpet there as well. Totally.